hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so um, a lot of you may have seen the video that i made in which i talked about the uh, ned woko five page post in which he posted on uh, instagram about his ex-wife and i just said i personally felt like it didn't add up like it doesn't add up that this girl that he was married to for 10 years you know all of a sudden he's coming out to say she's this she's that she's that and all of those things and, and, and i said it just came across as someone trying to tarnish somebody's image right i did not even know until one of you left me a comment saying that uh, he actually before that he actually warned her to leave instagram to basically he doesn't want her on instagram or else she does not want peace i'm going to read to you guys the post because apparently the the ex-wife Layla actually posted his uh, message on her Insta story that to show that he was threatening her to leave Instagram. I'm going to read it to you guys exactly how the the, the post um, is. From what I understand it is like he already sent a message to somebody that they should tell her to post it. That's how I understand it. So I don't know if he sent it to her directly or he sent to somebody to send to her to post it, right? Because you know, for anyone that does not know, the wife originally was the one that posted to say, I'm already divorced from that man or whatever she did, where she said it and she said, I don't want anybody talking about that marriage anymore. We're already divorced or something like that. So this is the the first one. Where if you look at the top there, you know, I'm going to blur his phone number because some people were, people posted this, right? And his phone number, people said they actually rang. Uh, people that said they have something they call true color. They said they checked it. Uh, they found that it's actually him. That, that is his phone number anyway but i'm gonna blur it right i'm gonna blur it and uh, so initially the first message was like i think it was something that she was told to basically copy and paste it on her instagram uh but she didn't do it right so this is what the first message was i am sorry over what i posted about me and my husband we are not divorced i have been under pressure over some things that has nothing to do you know it didn't show the rest of it it was kind of screenshot in a way that the other one couldn't be seen in full you know so basically from this it means that ned walker was trying to maybe he didn't want people to know they were divorced but um, she went out and let it out that they were divorced but she didn't say much she just said she didn't want anybody talking about that marriage anymore you know on her profile she said if you're following me because of him then please unfollow me that was all she said if he sent her this to say that they are not truly really divorced so that means maybe he does not like the image is the image is um the image that um how do i say this presents to the world because the man has come out to say that he's polygamous uh, you know he has wives and all of that and they eventually it came out that he only has two wives so all the other women he has married before the marriage is failed so now and i'm beginning to think this is me thinking right maybe he you see some there are some men you know i've talked about he said he said he's a muslim that they said uh, islam allows up to four wives right and um, there are men that have been able to do it there are few men that have been able to do it well let me put it that way because you have to treat them equally if every time you marry a new one because now i'm beginning to think maybe he does not have the ability to treat the old previous wife well when a new one comes in and then maybe that's how he keeps losing them that post that he made he was dragging jaruma that jaruma marriage failed or whatever and i'm thinking to myself someone that has so many marriages that had failed is actually trying to shame somebody for one failed marriage uh, jaruma i'm not supporting divorce so let me put it up i'm just saying him that is using style to shame somebody else the so-called jaruma has divorced once or has lost one marriage let me put it that way him apparently has lost a lot of marriages okay so you know what I mean? So he's not in the position to now talk about somebody that marriage is not work. So possibly, maybe whenever he gets into a new marriage, he gets carried away with the new one that the old one ended up walking away. Maybe that's how he ended up with only two. So there were only two, Regina and uh, and uh, Layla. But now Layla has, she has gone. <laughs> she has moved. And he's only left, uh, Regina is the only one left. So it's not every man. In any man, uh, polygamous and polygamous by nature. Uh, we from looking at your statistics it doesn't seem to be very good at the polygamy thing it seems that after that the girl did not sh well the girl did not share the girl did not post that to say that they are not divorced if you if he if that's my word if he sent this right let me use the word if okay he sent this 
trying to let want her to say that they are not divorced. Why does he want the world not to know that they are divorced? Why? So that he can continue to answer polygamous? He's not polygamous anymore. This man is one man, one wife now. <laughs> This man is one man, well, he only has one wife now, only Regina. So maybe he doesn't want people to realize that, ah, I'm no longer polygamous, so I'm only <laughs> I'm monogamous now. Maybe he doesn't want that to show. Then, or he doesn't want people to say, ah, so many failed marriages. And then, let me read the other one. So after she did it, it appears that after she didn't post what she was asked to post, then this came and he says, I have given her enough time to post this and close her Instagram account. Or else she doesn't want peace. That is the post. Right? When I read that, then I realized why the five page episode or how it came about. You know, and oh, when I read that five page article, let me call it article that he wrote, eh? I knew that there was, it just didn't add up. It did not add up and it was you can tell that there was the uh, you can tell that the at the back of this was an in, intentional you know um trying to tarnish somebody's image it came across as that that's why when they kept on listing several times she was violent to the children she left them unattended she met a man in uh, london she what that she did plastic surgery a lot of the things that are kind of like really frowned at strongly in our society in most part of the world, to be honest, but mostly in our society, that um, in an African, you know, society, that a woman that does all of these things is cancelled. Like she is no, she is the most worthless of all the women. Be not be a good mother, having an affair, plastic surgery. Our people still frown at plastic surgery, really, really terribly, terribly. You know, um, what else? All of those things that they are listed. I, I just knew it came across as somebody that was out to really drag somebody to tarnish somebody's image and then when somebody left a comment and i went and found this i was like now i get it so it was after she did not comply with his demands that he went and made that post the five page post because he said she does not want peace but unfortunately the thing backfired he's the one that does not have peace i say when people commented they commented until ned this disabled comments they were if you read that post, eh, when I read it, there was all the comments were firing at him. Wow, wow, wow. they were from left, right, and center. Baba could not, <laughs> a bar could not stand it. He blocked comments. He want to do social media. Social media will do you. Social media. <laughs> I laughed. I was like, a bar wants to come and do social media saga. Like I said, his post was petty. It was definitely petty. And since then, you know, when he tried to go and drag the girl. Social media people dragged him, dragged him until a part of disabled comments. He couldn't stand the heat. They say, if he cannot stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. The girl is trying to kick out of Instagram, allegedly. The girl is still there. She even posted, uh, um, if you see that, after this whole saga, if you see the one she now posted, oh, if you see, oh. <laughs> see the one he, she posted after that one? It's like, ah, uh, a part, I'm not going anywhere. At the end of the day, he is the one that may not be able to withstand the heat. You understand? So at least next time he would think twice before he thinks, oh, I have how uh, many followers I can do. Imagine, okay, tell me if, let me keep using the word if, if he is the one that truly sent this to her. Imagine the audacity of trying to tell a grown ass woman that she should close her Instagram account. Do you know what came to my mind? If he can say that to her, she's no longer under his roof, she's no longer married to him. He can say that to her. Imagine what he may have been saying to her when she was under his roof. For him to think that he has the powers to dictate to her to delete or leave her Instagram or leave Instagram. Imagine the kind of life she lived under his roof. This is what I'm telling people. If you have a good husband, hey, 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 be enjoy your husband, oh. You don't know what other people's marriages are like. A lot of men eh, that wear whatever to their wives in under their roof. When the woman leaves, they don't. Have, they no longer feel like they have authority over her because she's gone. But that sounds like authority over her. Imagine thinking that he can just tell her. And do you know another part is that this man, the girl Regina that he's married to, lives on Instagram. I think Instagram is her bedroom. Instagram is is her oxygen. Let's put it that way. 
So he wants the Layla to disappear from Instagram. Only Regina should stay on Instagram. We could not see. In the marriage, from what we saw, only Regina was the one that was uh, bad doing. Enjoying. Now that is even still over, he still wants to come and oppress the girl. Even while it's over. And then he said, Kayamata. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> and he said, Kayamata is not working on him. I'm sorry, yo. I'll say it again. I don't believe in Kayamata. But he's behaving like someone that has been. <laughs> he has behaving like someone that has been Kayamataized. I'm telling you because a lot of these things they don't make sense. This girl is already moved on. She does not. She's not posting about the marriage. She's not. She's just posting. She started a modeling career. Like I said, someone from the comment people left. People said the girl was a model before he met her, and then she got married and left modeling, became full time housewife. After the marriage ended, she dusted her modeling career and went back to it. But somehow, I don't, he's not happy. What is she posting that Regina is not posting one million times of that? Yet, her, her small corner that she's managing, he's trying to kick her out of there. Because he doesn't want her to shine. If you really, really, according to him, he said he's the one that kicked her. Uh, after he got angry with her, she came back and he told her not, uh, and, he, he, and he, he told her to leave immediately. You know when some people come and I think I made a lot of videos uh, emphasizing on this. When some people say Nigerian marriages in Nigeria are better than Nigerian marriages abroad. This is the so-called Nigerian marriage in Nigeria. Imagine a woman, your wife, went on holidays, came back and you said you heard she did this, she did that and you kicked her out. You told her to leave. The woman that married you for 10 years told her to leave. You didn't want to see her. You can't do that abroad. This is what some people call, you know, marriages in Nigeria are better because a lot of the men can oppress a woman, do woman the way they like. If it's abroad, you just she will just come back on holiday. You tell her she will not enter. She will call the police and the police will tell her she will enter her house because it's her home. He can't do that abroad. And that's why they will say abroad marriages are whatever because women cannot be oppressed like that abroad. I'm going to say it again. There are some women abroad that say, ah, because I did abroad. Yeah, hey, see my freedom. Oh. Ah, see, everybody should have the freedom. Everybody have rights. Where do, you, where do they respect your rights? Nigeria may not allow your right to be respected as a woman. But abroad is a society where everybody's right to be as, um, whatever. If a woman hits her husband and police came and saw, they will arrest the woman because she's a violent one. If it's the other way around, they will arrest the man. But the woman, your wife cannot go on holidays and come back and you say she cannot enter. Just, just leave. You can do that in Nigeria, you cannot do it. In the so-called civilized part of the world, and you hear such men now say eh, Nigerian marriages abroad is this, this, that because a lot of women are being oppressed and they have been brought up from the day they were born that no matter what a man does, a man can never be wrong. He said he kicked her out. If it's Nigeria now, the woman will go and call family member to come and be begging a man as if he's a god. He kicked her out, she left, right? But if, like I said, abroad, he cannot just kick a woman just like that, empty, just. I told her to leave. That's what he said in his post. Another area I want to address. This man, eh, I know she sure say he see that thing that thing well well. So I posted Regina that posted it. The man no be small picking. He knows that that place exists. He cannot tell me even if it's Regina that typed it. He did not pick it and say ah you know put comma here. You know put space after your comma. You know put kini and then say ah no this is not how I want it to appear. He could have done that. So. If Regina wrote it and he allowed it, it is his, his it is his writing. If it is his uh, media team, it belongs to him because it is representing him. So no matter what, there's no way. You understand? Now, at the end of the day, look at some of these stories. Look, oh, this woman, in this one holiday, she had COVID. She did surgery in one holiday. She left the children and did not spend money on the children, only on herself. How long was that holiday? Was it one year? Holiday, I'll be what? That they, in one, you see, how many weeks holiday was it that she had the time to go and do surgery? She had the time to be sick with COVID. She had the time to be. There's so many things that you put. Ah, which, which woman, a superwoman, who? That she shall not finish surviving COVID. She went and started doing this. When I saw that, to see what that he allegedly told her to leave Instagram. Who are you as an ex to dictate to a woman what she should do with her life? What audacity does, like that's what I don't understand. Well, this is what happens when somebody is so used to being in control for such a long time. And then the girl, another thing I want to talk about is, you know people say they always marry small, small girls. He married the girl when the girl was 20. You know, 20 year old, you can be saying, sit down, she sit down, this, that. But they get to an age. And I, this, I made a video where I said, I said, most of the time, men that keep 
going for small small girls is because they know that there are a lot of things they can do with a small girl that they cannot do with their age mates so they like those small small children that they can lord over but that's because it comes this comes across as lording over somebody that to the point that even when she's divorced from him he's lording over her but this girl is gone she has the right to move on with her life and he does not have the right to tell her to leave instagram Anyway, things are happening in marriages. So you see, when you call people, like I said, you see people smiling in the public. You don't know what's going on inside the, the thing they call marriage. You can hear him. Tell me how. This man, he has Regina. That basically, basically Regina lives on Instagram. She makes money on Instagram. She, she, you will see her in her bathroom, bathrobe on Instagram. You will see her, everything she does, she posts on Instagram. And then this girl in her small corner. And he, he, is not he has not told Regina to leave Instagram. Is this girl. He is supposed to say she's the aggressor. How is she an aggressor? This man should do question and answer about this is five pages. How is she an aggressor just because she continued to do Instagram? Quietly. She has never made any post to attack him. In what way is she an aggressor? By doing modeling job. That is how. Because the, with the girl's Instagram is there. Nothing there is private. So what is she is the aggressor? Who is the aggressor? Now he's the one telling her to close her Instagram. Who is the aggressor? I did not believe this man thought this was going to backfire, but he has basically shown the whole world who he is. He has basically shown the whole world who he is. And it's, you know, to imagine, like I keep saying, the man, if I say a man in his 60s, people say he's not 60s, that the rumor said he's 74. <laughs> don't forgive me. And the rumor said he's 74, he's not 60. Mm. Me, I don't know. I don't even know what age now to believe because I don't see birth certificate. But to see a grown man, I was telling somebody, I said, look, she basically was like, uh, uh, um, uh, Layla is not a baby. She's not a baby, but think about it. When Layla was born, if the man is even 60, let's even say he's 60. When Layla was born, this man was a 30 year old man. Just imagine a 30 year old man. Imagine a baby that is born today. And then look, she is now acting more matured than him. She's not the one dragging him or terrorizing him or whatever. She's not the one, you know, giving him all this hassle. He's the one. I just, you know, I just thought to myself, let me share that update because when some people were like, you know, there were a few people that were like, oh, but what did that? I say, no, this man called this post, five page post, in my, the, the, the flow says a lot about that man. And then I had to go see this post where he's telling somebody, you're no longer wait to, you're no longer wait to leave Instagram for waiting. Who will you be? To leave Instagram. Ah, and, the, and yet, the, 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 he's saying that she's the aggressor. So basically, he does not want her to shine. If you really moved on as a man, it shouldn't bother you what she's done on Instagram. It shouldn't be your, it shouldn't even be, you shouldn't be, don't be looking at her Instagram. <laughs> don't be looking at her Instagram. Do like say you don't see her. If you see her, do like this. Face the other side. It, it's not even interesting. Let's even wait. She means only Instagram is talking. Wait until the girl finds love. Let her go and find love with her age mate. And start, because she's still young. Her body, look at her, she's beautiful. She's still young, she's only 30. Some girls are only getting married at the age of 30. So she's still very young. If you, hmm, this one, she's only doing modeling until she, let's say, she found a husband, found a love, oh, love. She start posting a new marriage on Instagram. You that you're posting Regina, you are Regina up and down. Wait until she, she start posting. That is when you will know that, eh? At that time, you will know how far. <laughs> At that time, you will know how far. As always, whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.